Hi and welcome to this episode where we will focus on flowering bonsai and how we keep them healthy during the growing season. Here I have a Satsuki Azalea a, or Satsuki Azalea but it is pronounced Satsuki Azalea and Satsuki means uh, the fifth month and that's uh, because the fifth month is where these species are beginning to flower. We are now heading into the middle of the summer and it is time to remove the flowers. And why do we remove flowers on a beautiful specimen like this? Why don't we just enjoy them, enjoy the full flowering throughout the, the period and let them fade away? Like this one, and that is not because it was on purpose. I simply neglected it, being too busy with other things. So I will take a look at how we uh, keep up with the health of a tree that has been a little neglected, removing the flowers. And this is why we are removing them uh, at this busy. The type of flowering tree we are dealing with here is a spring flowering tree. And that means that the flower buds were developed during the autumn. And if you have late pruned ever an early spring flowering tree, like an Asatsuki Azalea, you will experience that you are removing the flower buds. This is a rich flowering tree this year. It flowered even more last year. Spring flowering trees are producing their flower buds in the autumn, in overwintering the buds, and then they are the first fluff that grows during spring. If you compare a spring flowering tree with a Japanese maple, for instance, you will see that the first flush of growth at a Japanese maple is the tender new leaves, the very strong growth. At a flowering spring bonsai like the Satsuki Azalea, the sp uh, spring leaves are replaced with flowers. And that means when you let a spring flowering tree flower, you will skip the first strong growth. There is, a, I think, a myth in bonsai that says that when a tree flowers, it uses a lot of energy to produce the flowers and the following seeds. Uh, I think that is a little bit of a misunderstanding, because if you think a little bit of logic, it would be pointless for a tree to waste energy on producing seeds that secures its survival. What happens is that where a flower bud is present, there will be no new growth before the flower is faded or the seed has dropped. And that stops the growth of the tree as we want it in, in bonsai. In nature, that's perfect because they, they just secure their survival by setting seeds, spreading them and making new plants. As a bonsai, we want a nice canopy, a good foliage path develop. And that only happens by growth. So by removing the flowers at this time, after this first spring growth that was flowers, then we can secure a new flush of growth, a little bit weaker, but still a second flush. But we have to remove the flowers, and especially the flower seed bulbs that sits just at the base of the flower. The flower that takes the place of new growth is actually indirectly weakening uh, the growth of the tree by replacing new leaf, leaf mass that will make more photosynthesis if there is a bigger amount of it, making more energy and more branches. So the flower just takes up the place and the seed takes up the place for new growth as long as it is sitting at that place. There will be new growth at other places, but everywhere where you have a flower, you stop the growth, not weakening it directly because the flower does not take up a lot of energy, it is just stopping any new growth to expand the tree and thereby adding strength and growth for the tree. And that's why we want to reduce the flowering and to stop it at this time because we need the second flush of growth to be leaves and not flowers. Every flower has to be removed with a pair of scissors. I will not remove it by uh, uh, manually by, with my fingers pinching it off because I will not be sure to make a clean cut and get the base of the flower pot where you have the seed that will be developed during autumn. So we have to remove it at the base and at the same time with this technique when you're removing flowers you are activating new growth, you are producing new growth hormones, that's a natural reaction 
for a um, Satskia salia or for the citrus trees that where you cut there will be produced a growth hormone that will set a new growth where you cut or a little further back. That's why we cut them with our scissors too. So there are two good points to get rid of the well beautiful flowers. The base of the flower is where to cut. So I hold this with my fingers and go straight to the bottom. Remove it. I continue all around the tree removing every flower. This tree has been flowering for around a month now and that's enough. If I wait longer I will just slow down the growth of the new branches that should be growing where these flowers are present. Even a new beautiful flower going to develop and that will happen during the season. I will go over this tree again because some flower buds will be hidden and have and need to be replaced by growth. And as I go over the tree, at the same time, it's a good idea to, to evaluate the branch formation and trim some of this new growth. This tree is growing strongly. It produces flowers every year, if I want it or not. Last year, I tried to avoid it from flowering because I wanted uh, more growth, so I cut the early flower pots, when they were just small, still it just kept on producing them. So it is a strong growing type of tree, this one. I removed the flower pots first and then I just trim some of this growth. And where there is a faded flower, you have to look very carefully if nothing is left over because it will replace the growth of new branches if just one seed is left behind. I think I got them all. Just checking for some I have missed and will check this tree more times during the season. I do think these flowers are too beautiful to just throw away, so I always decorate my water bath in here with these beauty. Where there have been no flowers, there is some new growth, and that is the evidence of the flowers taking up the space for new growth. Here I have a few elongated branches around the tree and I will now trim them to get the tree back in shape. This is a very well developed tree and uh, I will not do a lot of changes to this tree. I like it as it is, a very classical bonsai, but I need to trim some of these branches and later I will also need to adjust some of the branches, giving, adding a little space in between the branches. It has just overgrown a bit. But at this time of the year, the thing I will do is just shorten some of these branches and making a better balance between the energy of each branch. And what do I mean about the energy between each branch? It is uh, about balancing the strength of each part of the tree. Looking at a branch, is it strong growing? Then you can prune it a little back. Does it look weaker, have uh, f fewer uh, leaves? and thin branches, then leave it uh, alone or just cut the very ends to keep a balance between each area. And each area should be equally strong. At Satsuki Asalia, it is about having a neat and, uh, and soft look of the tree that supports the flowers when they flower in spring. It's not about making a lot of dramatic movement, it just doesn't fit for a tree like this. And it's, at the same time, it is a, a tradition of the Satsuki Asalia to show the beauty of the flowers. At Japanese bonsai shows, during spring you will see uh, a wealth of flowers produced at the Satsuki Asalia. And it is a little bit in contradiction to the Japanese aesthetics, where you focus on uh, simplicity and uh, peace. When you're looking at a tree, these uh, flower bouquets are actually uh, overwhelming to look at, a little bit too much for my taste, but that's a personal matter. 
the Japanese love it and grow them for the variety of flowers. I like this very simple white flowering Satsuki Azalea very much and I just keep it in this traditional style. This part of the tree looks healthy. They are missing a little bit the inner growth in here so I will have to open from the top to get light in here adding some back budding here. I'll just trim this a little bit and this is done by cutting this new extended growth just above a pair of leaves and then there will be growing new branches in these two directions. So take the middle shoot out and leave the rest behind. If you have something that goes very much upwards, remove it. I will not do it here. This is still too young and I just need to make a neat foliage path here. At this spot I have two branches growing very long and one here and this is at places where no flowers have been growing and proving that the growth of new branches and new leaves will happen where no flowers are present. Cutting the east back to the base trying to get a nice silhouette in here. Everything that sticks out of the silhouette is removed. Here we'll, I will go a little bit further back and let some of these take over. Here and here and keeping some round foliage pads that looks neat and looks like a large tree when you look at it at a distance. The Satsuki I say that has maybe two seasons where it's really good. It's really good when it is without flowers and really good with flowers. That's the two seasons. The longest is of course without flowers because the Satsuki Azalea is able to produce a really nice and tight canopy if pruned regularly, regularly and uh, then the flower season is of course the peak of it but the tree looks very good all the season because you can trim it very precisely. And the flowers are of course the show of the season and the rest is just showing the beauty of the foliage and the trunk of course. The foliage pads I want to produce by pruning is not flat ones like my hands showing now. It is more like rounded with a top but a very soft top and a foliage pad with a lot of small branches growing together so they form this round and soft shaped foliage pad. There's the top of the canopy and then there will be smaller foliage pads around the tree. And that is shaped by pruning and if, if you need to wire you can do it later at the season when we are reaching autumn and the sap flow is reducing. It is with this bonsai as it is with all other bonsai important to let the light reach the inside of the tree making some open spaces so the light can get in and rejuvenile the tree all the time. If you do not do that you will end up with a canopy that just expand, expand and expand and you will have a, uh, a lot of gaps from inside and a lot of bare spaces. So keep trimming the tree throughout the season and be sure to let some air and light inside. Then it will produce new growth. We can see it over here where I have pruned it earlier last year and now new growth begins to pop out in, from the inside. Keep your eyes open for any unwanted growth that will pop up where you do not need it. Here I have a new branch growing beneath the first branch, the main branch, and it makes no sense to have it here. It just shows how great even an old tree like this one is produce new strong growth where you shouldn't expect it. Let's swap the images. This tree is now shaped uh, in the basic form that I want to keep it in. I have opened up a little to get new branches developed from the inside. As I just showed you, they will pop up where light and air reaches. 
I have another azalea, a different variety. And uh, this was grown from a cutting years ago, given to me from a friend. And I have uh, changed it completely. But I also, this season, I simply missed to remove the flowers before they faded. I should not even have let it flower because it is still in the training period. But they, these are very forgiving trees, so I can easily readjust this. I'll just show you how I now remove the flowers to secure the new growth of the tree because this is still in a training period. As with any other type of both azaleas, rhododendrons or any kind of flowering trees, it is about removing the flower buds at the base, securing that this little piece where the fruits, the seeds will develop is removed. Then new branches can grow from there and that is at a training stage like this where everything is focused on developing a good branch formation the most important thing to keep in mind yeah i can see the pedestal showing the seeds here and i have to remove them and new branches will grow from there if you spot any even late at the season then still just remove them because they are taking the space of growth. I got them all and if I do not, I will do it as soon as I spot one. This is a more mature tree that is going into a phase where I might need to redesign it a little. I have to reposition it. some of the branches. You cannot keep a bonsai in the same shape uh, all the time. In between you have to make small corrections and at other times making a totally new style. This one has been reduced very much from a larger type of tree. I have tilted it and I make it into a semi cascade and I will focus on only branch development the next two or three years. It grows rapidly and then it might be show worthy. It will even be show worthy in winter because the leaves are still there. Uh, so if they are healthy looking, it can be exhibited in winter, but the main purpose of Asalias is of course the flowering and the beauty of this during the summer period. So for a spring flower show this is excellent or just to enjoy in the garden as I often do. And also here I will adjust the balance between the, the weak and the strong areas. Strong areas are where you show very strong growth with big leaves and a big amount of leaves in contradiction to short and weaker looking leaves that are also thinner in their growth. So you have to prune the strong areas a little harder and let the weak areas grow a little more freely to keep up the balance. If you do not, the strong areas will outgrow the weak areas and you will not be able to style your tree as you want it. Here I have a strong area. At the back side I have a little bit of a weak area. I want to grow this stronger and I'm waiting for this strong growth to develop a little more so I can bend it in autumn and then begin to fill out the spaces. So I just prune a little of this stronger growing area so this can begin to grow. Always about pushing energy from one area to another. Both of these trees are pruned and that is it for today. I will keep feeding it well. I will mist it with water. When I'm watering it, I do not do that when the flowers are present because they will just be ruined by water. So if you have a a rainy period and flowers are present, try to protect your trees from the rain and avoid when you're watering to water the beautiful flowers because they will get these brown flecks and will be ruined by that. Keep your Satsuki azaleas or any kind of azalea away from the midday sun. They will get some leaf burn, especially the small leaves azaleas, this variety. Uh, this bigger one is a little bit more tolerant for the sun, but take care not to sunburn them. So keep them in semi-shape, dapple shape during the day and watering them well in the morning or in the afternoon. Mist them with some water during the day so they will keep healthy. Mm -hmm.